these are the answers to numbers 1 to 11. I'll explain in a jiffy, but you know, you can just use this to you understand just to test a sip. I'll send a video of the explanation in a jiffy. I started from number one here, so you can easily see it. Exercise is on page 108 from number one. You know how I got each answer up to number 11. So you check it yourself. You can post anywhere you feel. I'm scrolling too fast. I just want to scroll up to number 11 so that so that you can see what I'm talking about. Please make sure you write clearly and leave enough space between your answers. I'll be faster now. So when I'm explaining fully in the video, I will, you understand, I light and state what each, each thing means. If you have any question, you can chat me up so that I will know what to emphasize when I start explaining. I did it up to number 11. I will send the solutions for numbers 12 to... I will send the solutions for numbers 12 to 16 also. Please take note, too. this is a very important exercise. You can post anywhere you feel that. You need to look at the answer well. Okay, I think I actually did it up to number... I, I think I actually did it up to number 12. So I just have 13, 14, 15, and 16 left. I will send those ones to you. Let me scroll again from number 1 to the end. So that you can post wherever you need to post. This is the title. The exercise is on page 108. I started from number 1. I started from number 1. Did number 1. Then did number 2. Number 2 is here. Then I did number 3. The questions are all pretty simple, just almost the same thing going on. Almost the same thing going on. The basic thing I think you need to know is the fact that when you are when you are using ah. when you are using volumes. Sure. When you are using volumes, you use the formula R1 over R2. A square root of molar mass of gas two over square root of molar mass of gas one. You understand for that. But when the volumes are the same and you are just dealing with time, you use T1 over T2. A square root of molar mass of gas one over square root of molar mass of gas two. So I, this is the most important thing you need to know in the exercise. Almost all of the questions are, you know, based on these two formulas. So just take note. I will scroll down to the end. This is number five. This is number six. This is number six here. Yeah. This is number six here. Yeah. This is number seven. I'm trying to scroll very slowly so wherever you need to pause, you can pause and this is number Gram's law of diffusion is a very simple topic. This is number eight. And almost all of the toughest kind of questions that you can be asked in your exam is in this exercise. It's not something so, so deep. This is number nine. Can you see number nine here? This is number nine. This is number ten. This is number ten. This is number ten. This is... No, number 10 was a bit long. This is number 11. So in each question, I, I try to write the two gases we are comparing now. And don't forget to take note that this, you know, don't forget to take note that this is, you know, for the two gases separately. That's number 11. And, and the last part is number 12 here. The last part here is number 12. So, I'll be with you in a jiffy to explain further. But if you have any questions, I'll be preparing the questions now. 